Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live attack video. And today we're attacking a kind of a Town Hall 11, um, but not really. It doesn't have an eagle, so I think we have a pretty good shot at it. It's from the uh, Supercell Clan War League that we're um, almost through. Still have <clears throat> a couple wars left. Then we'll be back to the usual CWL uh, grind. So anyway, um, this base has been attacked for no stars. It's like the lowest base that doesn't have any stars and the last person to attack this war. Double giant bomb set here for what it's worth. Um, I'll show the replay, you guys can see that actually was kind of funny how that worked out. So not the best base, um, just gonna try the frozen witch on it, gonna do a few witches here with one healer, a few witches here with one healer, then just spread the witches like that. Wall wrecker going like that and um, king queen and then just start freezing all of this use those freezes nice and early um, the bowlers should uh, come out right around the town hall we'll rage and heal them here and then I think that might be enough to kind of take out this ring and finish off the base but we'll see um, let's take a look at the replay this should be a pretty quick live attack um, very simple I'm in one hive alpha, that's where a lot of the tens went. We're doing mainly elevens and twelves in one hive genesis for the war leagues. So you can see we have a, a clan of all tens pretty much. Four for four so far, this is um, round five just finishing up here. And we've already, it looks like we're gonna get the win here. I think they have an attack or two left. Um, but I don't think they're gonna be able to tie it up. I don't know, maybe. It depends if they use those attacks, but we can definitely um, help out here getting a two or a three star. Should definitely get the two star here. Um, look at the replay real quick. Um, you can see here uh, drops down bowlers and witches on each side, kind of a similar attack. Then right there, the double giant bomb killed like a bowler and a few witches or something. Um, maybe just the bowlers. That was pretty funny actually. Um, got some good value from that double giant bomb. And then I think it's an Electro Dragon in the CC, which should not be an issue at all. Um, we'll just poison it normally. And then um, in terms of Teslas and stuff, I don't know, did we see any Teslas? Um, maybe we did. I actually, I can't even tell now. Um, so hopefully, actually I think the Tesla was right there. Yeah, they're right on the outside. So the witches should encounter them and be able to take those guys out. Um, so anyway, uh, what we're going to do is first is trigger those giant bombs with some barbarians. So I got four barbs, um, two archers, I guess. Uh, giants to kind of tank for the witches a little bit, a few wizards, then uh, all the typical stuff. Um, let's go ahead and give this one a try, though. Not in incredibly high stakes, but wanted to get a video for you guys because it should be kind of a fun attack to do. Um, so here we go. All right, we'll start off triggering those giant bombs, like I said. Um, I'm not sure where, I know where a few of them are, but maybe I'll be able to kind of get the rest of them. Let's see. Um, I'll have to select the troop first. That's a new thing in the update. Um, you don't automatically start with one of your troops selected. Normally the barbarian would already be pre-selected, but not the case. Interesting. Um, there we go. I guess I'll try if I'm over here, maybe. Yeah, no luck. Okay, let's get the witches started. We'll do one, two, three. Healer. Oh, I lured the CC. Okay, that's not great, but all right. Get the rest of these witches spread out. Get a few wizards over here by the E drag to help out. All right, we'll see how this goes. Get ready to start freezing a lot. Okay, looking all right. All right, got the balloon dropping on my boulders. That's fun. Uh, it's one of those attacks with a balloon. Yeah, maybe I should have waited and poisoned the balloon. I have to pop the queen here. Um, are we going to miss the town hall? Maybe not. 
Uh, let's freeze this. Oh, we might not get the town hall. Well, let's see, the queen actually, okay, she got the town hall. Are we going to get the 50%? It's a good base, guys. Maybe we should copy it. Um, some cheeky archers here. 49%, okay, there we go, 50%. Great, got the two star. Well, we'll take a look at the replay, I guess, but <clears throat> um, let's just go ahead and end the battle. I doubt that 1% will decide anything. Um, so we added two stars to the total. I mean, I guess that's good. Um, they ha will have to get a three star and a two star, and I don't think their bottom attacker is gonna be doing a whole lot, judging on the base. Um, so I think we should be okay. Uh, maybe they can one-star one of our bases, I don't know. I think our town hall might be on the outside. But still, that would mean they'd have to triple something else. And this guy is... Yeah, he doesn't have the highest level heroes or anything. So I think we're okay, assuming those guys even attack. So, um, let's take a look at the replay. Put up a solid 50% here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, to be fair, a lot of this stuff is upgraded beyond Town Hall 10 level. He has the 4th Expo. Um, maybe should have tried... I, I didn't want to try something like a La Lune or something because I wanted to make sure I got the Town Hall. So, as I've said in that video kind of talking about the new leagues, it is a little bit limiting. You don't want to try for the most fancy 3-star attacks that won't get the 2-star, especially when you're like me, you're the last person attacking. Um, but even as the first attacker, because you know you probably can't have that cleaned up. Um, so anyway, we'll take a look at the replay, then we'll wrap this video up. Uh, you can see the Electro Dragon got lured out from somewhere. Um, I guess that one of those barbarians got it, but not the balloon, which sucked, because the balloon... Um, I've seen this happen actually a, a lot of times, The balloon, when the balloon takes out um, your bowlers as soon as they come out of the wall wrecker. So we'll see that happen. Um, the Electro Dragon just kind of stands there for a while, almost kind of helps because the Witches can sit back, spawn skeletons without being targeted by those defenses. Um, both sides I think are doing okay. Here comes the Lightning, it actually hits the Witches a little bit, but yeah, they're probably going to go down here. Uh, everything goes in, went ahead and used those freezes to get the Wall Wrecker push, and right here the bowler gets, or the Balloon gets the drop, the bowlers probably would have maybe bounced maybe not that inferno and they, they would have gotten some pretty good value in this core here cleared it up for the witches but boom they're gone uh with one balloon drop that's the uh that's how it goes down sometimes um this might have had a maybe a chance at a triple depends how how well those bowlers would have done uh with a single inferno they would have gone down slowly but surely so yeah i mean i don't know it would have been a lot better for sure so right here, um, the witches are now stuck dealing with that core that the bowlers were kind of responsible for. But fortunately, my queen somehow, some way, with one healer on her gets that town hall down, and that gets me the two star with like an extra building or two. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we'll get matched with these types of clans in uh, league play, and we'll see how it how it plays out. You know, maybe we'll just be faced. Facing like a bunch of clans with like 11s and 12s uh, who maybe aren't that good. Or maybe we'll face other clans like us that are almost all 10s um, but tend to be better attackers. So we shall see how this thing plays out. Um, it's like once a month, the uh, the league, so uh, might take a little while. But things will start to even, even out a little bit, hopefully. Um, I know you guys have expressed some disappointment with the matchmaking system, but let's wait and see see how it works out exactly. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a hot, happy Halloween, um, which will be tomorrow when you see this video. Anyway, that'll do it. Bye, Sectatron out.